Welcome to another Selfish Rares app podcast, or should I say the app improvement podcast, because this is uh, one um, podcast that I want to start now with um, yeah, some improvements for applications of Selfish OS and of some default applications. Just like, for example, the Yola email app that, that you can see here right now. This is the default view on my Yola C, as you can see here of the email app if a new email arrives and you have all the inboxes on top with all your email addresses. And I hacked a little bit on this email app to make it a little bit better, I think. And I want to show you this right now. So let's get rid of the Yola C and get back to my old and trusty Yola 1. And as you can see here, this is now the new view on the device with uh, the email app. As you can see here, it will list all emails basically that are unread from all inboxes that you have. And you don't have an inbox overview in this main area basically. So it allows you to see a lot more unread messages. And if you want to see only the messages that you read or that are still unread from a specific inbox, you can just swipe to the right and you will see the new inbox overview. As you can see here, I got rid of the um, message indicator uh, to the left of the logo of the uh, account itself. So we have more space now on the right for the account name itself. And uh, of course, as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner, a lot better than uh, the view on the Yola. Uh, see as you can see here with the one and a lot of space wasted on the left side. So I think this uh, new overview is a lot better than the older one. So what I've changed as well is if I go into one inbox is the view of the emails itself, the list view. As you can see here, we now only have the most important data that we need. And this is the um, sender of the email. And of course, the subject. We don't need a preview of the email itself, which is pretty damn not working correctly if you have an HTML email. Um, so this is, I think, a big, big plus that you only have then those things and getting rid of the uh, preview of the email and just replace it with something useful, just like, for example, I did here. As you can see here, under each email, you have now different buttons, just like, for example, read and unread email. So I can click here to mark this email as read. I can also mark it as unread. If I like to I have the option to answer the email directly by clicking here, or reply to all, move, uh, not move uh, forward the email to something else if I'd like to. And of course, delete the email if I'd like to with one click. And as you can see here, it can get rid of various emails very fast and don't have to long press on the email and then go to on delete uh, each time you want to delete an email or you have to go into the marking mode to mark the various different emails and then hit on the lead, um, which is, I think, not necessary with uh, the lead button right under the email itself. And of course, if you go into an email, there's a new view because I find, found it very annoying that there was no way to, to see the um, subject of the email anymore. You only see the uh, sender of the email and there was no subject in the default uh, application, just like, let me show you this here. As you can see here, I only see the email itself, but no subject, which is pretty uh, useless. I had to swipe to the right here to get to the subject. And now with my email application patch, uh, that I applied. You can see the subject right on the top. This looks a bit odd here on this um, testing email, but if I open up, uh, for example, this email here, as you can see, it looks a lot better with the um, subject in here. So you can see the subject of the email that I received as well. And same goes for this one, for example. And I think this is a nice improvement as well. So these are my 
uh, little patches for the Yola email app. If you'd like to know more about them, if you'd like to apply them basically to yourself, to your email application itself on your Yola device, uh, just uh, go down, uh, hit the link. There's a um, diff a patch that you can download and uh, then try to patch yourself. I'm not getting into uh, the patch manager thingy yet. Um, still hoping this is a proposal basically to work on because it's not final. As you can see, it has some issues, some quirks here and there. Um, as you can see here, the, the uh, spacing here, maybe there's another uh, option for another icon that allows you also to move the uh email so move icon basically i'm not sure what what do you see or oh, we have to uh or i have to just simply make this a little bit make the space a little bit bigger or place it in the middle so that it does not um uh, does not disturb the the rest of the thing the other thing is of course i have to get rid of those if i have the email selection box uh, those buttons should go away i guess um and yeah, there's some improvements that still needs need, need, needs to be done, some improvements, but I think this is for first proposal of changing the Yola email app. I think this is uh, more than enough and I hope you enjoyed this. If you have comments, if you have questions, if you have um, suggestions, just en um, enter them in the comment section below this video. And uh, yeah, for everything else, like the video, share the video and discuss things around the YOLA email app. This is basically everything for this little uh, demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.